Each airport in the national airspace system has unique and distinct characteristics, which can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of these tricky areas from the flight deck. Daytona Beach International Airport is a medium-sized, multi-use airport. Serving air carrier operations as well as corporate and general aviation, the airport is also home to numerous flight schools, including the Daytona Beach campus of Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, which results in a very high volume of flight training operations at the airport. This mix of traffic, from the professional airline pilot all the way to the pre-solo student, leads to unique challenges for both pilots and controllers. The airport configuration consists of two parallel runways, 725 left and right, and one intersecting runway, 1634. Pilots need to be aware that this configuration allows for land and hold short operations, or LASSO, on runway 7 left, holding short of 1634. In addition, a complex system of taxiways can make Daytona Beach a challenge for even the most seasoned pilot. As with many other airports with parallel runways with staggered thresholds, runways 7 left and 7 right are often confused by aircraft lining up on final. Pilots tend to fixate on the first runway they see, especially if that runway is considerably larger and easier to see than the corresponding parallel runway. Runway assignment changes occur for several reasons, including balancing traffic and controller workload and others. Pilots need to pay close attention and ensure that they hear, understand, read back, and execute operations as instructed. The construction of Taxiway Yankee has all but eliminated the issues created at the intersection of Taxiway Sierra and Whiskey. Caution still needs to be exercised when taxiing in this area of the airport, though, considering it contains the intersections of several major taxiways and runways. Though the airport has its fair share of challenges on the ground, the primary issue for pilots at Daytona Beach International Airport concerns the misidentification of taxiways as runways from the air. This is due to numerous parallel surface configurations. Specifically, aircraft inbound from the south have mistaken taxiway PAPA for runway 7 right. In addition, taxiway November is often mistaken for runway 7 left, 25 right when on final. The busy traffic mix and the complex airport layout call for special attention during pre-flight planning and ATC instruction. Expectation and confirmation bias may lead the pilot to hear and see what they want to and not what is necessarily true. As stated earlier, understanding, reading back, and executing instructions accurately are key to a safe and orderly operation. As a general rule, Always read back what you intend to do, and not just what you hear. Being aware of configuration issues at the Daytona Beach International Airport will help pilots make better decisions and, along with the ATC Tower, keep the operation safe and efficient. Now you're better prepared for your trip to Daytona Beach International Airport. It's always better to know before you go.